Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining. A lot of you wanted to know how I did the winter is coming text mask that is in front of a snowmobile. So I'm going to show you today how I did that. I'm going to bring up Canva and I'm just going to show you. I've already um, obviously done this poster already, but what I did is I came in here and um, I typed text with a font. And when you're choosing a font, choose something that's smooth, um, that doesn't have rough edges um, or, have, or rounded. Just something that's uh, pretty uh, plain. Um, now this is text, so you can see that when I type in here, um, I, um, it's text. So you want to position the text so that it's either um, I mean you can have it on one side you can have it on the whole uh, document um, it doesn't matter now um, I'm just going to reposition the text just to show you that I have a shape in back of here this is a shape um, so you can just come up to elements and you can select the shape and then you can create a shape that's going to appear in back of the text. Um, so let me just get rid of that and then you can just when you're creating the shape or putting the shape in behind the text just make sure that the um, shape is just a little bit larger than the text that it's not the whole um, workspace that it is it just fits nicely around the shape and what you're what you're going to do is you are going to download this um, so as a PNG so you're going to come in here you're going to select download you're going to select PNG and let me just select that first page and you're going to download it um, then what you're going to do is you're going to take that PNG, bring it in here, you're going to wait for it to upload, and then what you're going to do is you're going to select that because now it's in here as an image. It's no longer a text. So you're going to say edit photo, and you're going to remove the background. And when you remove the background, what should happen is, is that the letters should be transparent so when I go back in there we can see that the letters are transparent okay so um, now what you can do is you can um, bring in a photo it can be any kind of a photo now I did choose a snowmobile but uh, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find that exact snowmobile but I'll I'll take this one and I'm what I'll do is uh, I'm just going to put it like that and then I am going to set that uh, image as my background and uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll just position it more over here and um, I did make it black and white um, to do that you just need to go to filters you need to go down to um, one of these whichever one you prefer and then what I did is I took this and I just made it fit the space like that now, if that's too big for you, you can make it um, smaller, um, like this, and then you can just center it like that. Uh, but then what you'll need to do is you'll need to bring in some boxes to cover the space that's showing, the photo that's showing. So you can um, change that to black and then you can just make a copy of that and bring that down here.
and you can do the same over here on this edge and this edge if it's not enough. So um, that's pretty much it on how to create a text max mask. Um, if you learned anything in this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye.